This particular video will focus particularly on the four-year-old program. Come on and let's have a look. When the fours arrive at school, they will arrive to table time first, which allows with their fine motor and problem solving, communication skills, all of these things happen at the table. There are a variety of items out on the table to help them take the exposure that they may have gained in our three-year-old program and turn it into the knowledge that they need to become kindergarten ready. And that is our main focus here in the forest, to take that exposure, turn it into knowledge and walk in with confidence to the kindergarten program. So in doing that, we put out um, manipulatives that will engage them with their letters. Seeing letters, feeling the letters, tracing them with our finger, tracing them with our pens and our markers, um, manipulating those letters before we even make sounds. So learning to recognize those letters in print form. We're gonna play with the objects on the table first, which are letters. Right? Then we also have uh, things such as sorting. Sorting size, size concepts are another big thing they need to know going into kindergarten. So we're looking at arranging articles from small to large and we have manipulatives out on the table that help them to learn the difference between size, seeing it first and then placing it in the right order whether it's small to large or large to small. That's how we learn those basic concepts in the four-year-old program. Um, the other thing that we like to do is with our counting, learning with our math. So we have an example here of our silly snowman math where they have to count all the snowballs and put the proper numeral in the square at the bottom of that snowman to show, oh, this snowman has five snowballs. The snowman has two. Recognizing those numbers in print form is another thing that we engage the children in learning those number concepts. Um, other things that we have going back to letter recognition, seeing it and saying it. Now we're going to look at making sounds. Sounds that we may have made in the threes were a little sillier and now we're going to focus our sounds into making real letter sounds. We work on phonics in our four-year-old program. Every word like, like a cat we make that sound, k -k cat, and then we use our bodies to make those sounds too, k -k cat. So it's our C who eats the cookie, k -k -k crunch, and that's how we make our C. We do body movements for all our letters to help us remember those sounds. When we start to make those phonemic sounds, then we're going to start to see it on paper and learn what those letters look like. So we're going to see it and say it. You'll see a dog on your on your um, table. You take that dog, put it in the d, 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 d house, right? So you're going to match up pictures with their beginning sounds. And that's how we start learning to make words. All the letters and sounds that we make, put them together. There's a meaning, there's a purpose. They make words, right? Um, that takes us to other things that we like to do just when we're trying to learn how to read. We look at our pictures first and see it and say it. So in our outer space look and find, I see uh, a moon. And so we use our moon motion, rub our tummy, make the M sound, mm, moon. And then we find the moon on our sheet and circle it. So we're learning with our crayons and our markers how to make fine circles as well, right? Um, other things that we do are more beginning sounds, but now you're tracing or making lines. You're not just placing items on, now you're actually making lines and working on your pre-printing practice. So you're saying, oh, I see a rocket. Where's the R, R for rocket? Make your line. So we're working on some fun sheets at the table to help them with those things. Other things that we like to do at preschool to engage with our learning are crafts and other games. So let's go over to this table and have a look. At this table, we'll start with the crafts because that's so much fun. In the fours, there's not as many craft days as in threes because we have so many other games and fun activities to help us learn our uh, letters and numbers and shapes and colors and all the basic concepts. So with the crafts that we do get to do, they're super, super fun. We have, for this month, which is uh, outer space, we're going to do um, sponge painting and make a galaxy paint. It's beautiful and they love it when they can be so proud of it. And we learn about pride and ownership of our work so that we're always doing our very, very best to get kindergarten ready. 
So when they finish this particular craft, they're always super, super thrilled. We put it up on a bulletin board and display it in the hallway so the parents can see it. Those are one of those crafts that you just want to keep forever and ever. Also, what's exciting for them this year uh, for the space is our Buzz Lightyear craft. And again, using different mediums, we're laminating, we're using markers, and we're putting those together and it looks real. It's so super cool. They get very excited about our crafts. Other activities that we do, um, some of these things we'll do at the table with a friend or at the carpet in a group when we're learning our letter sounds again. And this one I like, it's our apple, apple, nice and round, pick an apple, make it sound. They can't wait to have their turn. This is another Vel Velcro manipulative that I've made. They would pick an apple that has a letter, an alphabet letter on it, see it and say it. That's our big thing, see it and say it. And then, oh, I have an A. Well, what sound does the A make? Ah, it has two sounds. Those are one of our vowels. And then they'll have fun making those sounds, do their body movements with it, and then put it on the tree. And away we go again, till the tree is all full. They love that one. It's a great group game as well as a partner game. Other things that we have at our table are our love letters. At Christmas time, we did letters to Santa, which was super cool. Love letters here are letters that they will trace with their marker and they're learning their pre-printing practicing and they're learning their letters and their fine motor and their pencil grass. So many things are happening. They always pay attention to detail because these letters are not ginormous. There are proper printing size for them to start at. So they really have to take care in tracing those lines and making those letters. And they can't wait to show me their love letters when they've done them. So we put those out daily. Um, yes, there is work in the four-year-old program. They have workbooks and work pages, but they're really great. They love them. So for a letter day, this one is our lion. And we, for letter L, we like to stand at the carpet and lick our lollipop, leh, 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 and they think it's so silly and fun, but it's engaging and it's something that they will remember. So then we come to the table and we work on our L, tracing again the letter L and then coloring those things on the page that begin with the l, l, l sound. Right, so the lion, the lemons, the lamp, they'll color those things. Right, um, printing their name, something that we um, work on is not only in the threes are they looking at finding their name in print form and learning that first initial, but in the fours, they already know that now because we've done it over and over and over again in the threes. And maybe you've done it at home with them too, which is great. So now in the fours, they're actually gonna be printing those letters and they'll see it on their name card and at the top of this paper that says, I can print my name. And we'll do that four times a year where we assess them to see how their printing is coming. And this is one of the greatest ways um, for them to take pride in ownership because it's their name they're printing. They want their name to be the best, right? So that's the one that we do four times a year and watch the progress and talk about what they see each month that we do that. Printing their name so they can go to kindergarten and know already how to do that, right? Um, they have a shapes book. They will trace it and try it and then color all those shapes. So this one happens to be our heart. And so each month, there's a new shape that we're playing with. This happens to be the heart. Another book that we work on is our numbers book. And numbers, there's so many things to do. So we're going to trace it and try it. So the number five on this page, they have to trace it four times and then there's a spot for them to try it. That's our trace it and try it. Um, putting the numbers in a 10 frame. That is supertizing. We're learning how to see patterns. And this is patterns with our numbers. So you know, I'm gonna show you that concept next, but on their workbook, there is a 10 frame for them to fill up. They're gonna fill it in with stickers. So this one says, put five in a 10 frame. They'll put five stickers in the proper spot in their 10 frame. Then there's a count and color. They'll have to count and color that number bricks on their page. And the last one is an I spy. Um, they will have to look for all those numbers. So that one is the number five. They'll have to say, oh, three, that's not a five. Oh, there's a five and they're gonna highlight it. So they're going on a search and find to find the proper number, right? In our 10 frame that we have here, we're showing the number three. We play these games at the carpet to help us to subitize dots in a dice or a 10 frame. And it's supertizing is recognizing the pattern without having to count 
what you see. So eventually, they might start off counting and then eventually they won't have to count anymore, they'll know the pattern, which is what you want, especially for dice games going forward and math concepts at school. So for this one, it's a three, they would have to count the three dots on my three card and then they have their own blank 10 frame, they put that many stars in while they're counting one at a time. So it's a one-to-one -one correspondence, helps with them, uh, with their counting skills. Right. After they've done all their things at the table, then we head to the carpet for group time fun. Let's go check it out. All right, so when they come to the carpet, they'll find their dot and that's their safe spot. They stay in that dot for while we're at the carpet. Carpet is a really great time for learning and listening, but it's also an opportunity for our friends to share their thoughts and learn the expectations of how they are going to take their turn and wait patiently and speak only when it's their turn. We don't blurt out like an erupting volcano in our class. We learn to put up our hand, which is something that we would have done in the threes, so it's something familiar. That behavior is something that we did in the threes. They will know how to do it in the fours. So it's a really smooth transition for them to come and sit and put their hand up when they want to talk or share their ideas. Um, also, when we're sitting at the carpet, we're going to read our stories. When we're reading our stories, looking at the pictures, talking about what we see first. It's very important in order for us to or understand what's happening in the story. And sometimes we like to make guesses and think what's going to happen next, which is engaging for them. And that's how they learn to read. So we look at the pictures, try to figure out what we think the story's about. Then we will read it and talk about it during the story sparks up a conversation that's great that's what we want for them to be engaged and dive right in that's how they learn to love reading right um so we're going to read stories we're also doing body breaks body breaks because they sat at the table for a while they're going to come and sit here for a little bit we get up and we move music is a part in learning to help them with brain development and whole child development so when we're moving our bodies are moving, our mind is thinking, what are we doing? How are we doing this? Are we running? No, we're not running. We're going to follow the leader and we're going to walk or we're going to dance this way. The music's going to tell us how to move. So we learn to listen as opposed to just hear the background music. It's going to tell us what to do. So if we're not listening, we're not going to be able to do the, what's, what's, what's needed of us in that song, right? So we're le learning how to sit attentively and listen as opposed to just hear things. Music and movement, so much fun. They engage with it and then they sit down, crisscross applesauce, and we're ready to learn. This is where we'll learn together how to print our letters on a line or in our house. And then we'll go to the table and we'll do our printing pages, those workbooks that we talked about and showed you. Um, after we've done all of our fun games and songs and stories here, then we're going to have playtime and snack time, which is also one of their favorite things to do. And then we'll come back for one last game. They, their favorite game every year happens to be Heads Up, Seven Up, where we hide a prompt or a manipulative into a cup that has a letter on it. They have to see the letter and go, oh, that's a G, it says G. And then they lift that cup and see if that's where the toy is hidden. And if they guess it right, they hide the toy, then they pick a friend who takes a turn and so on. So they're learning turn taking, their patience, working on their patience. They're also learning their letters again, right? Making those phonemic sounds, all so much fun. After we're done all of that last part of the carpet where we have our last game, then we collect our things and we're on our way. And again, same thing as in threes, all our learning happens through um, fun themes throughout the month. Every month there's a new theme. Every day there's a new special day like color day, crazy hat day, PJ day, whatever it might be. Anyways, we do all those same things again but different activities and the fours have different themes than the threes. But that's how we do it over here at Little Learners Preschool and we hope to see you soon. <laughs>